Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming on the Python programming language and the Django framework. A very warm welcome from me. In the previous session, we set the starter template in Bootstrap inside our home.html file and printed the hello world text. As you notice, it right now. Now we want to change the appearance of the site a little bit. Let's see how it's done. The first thing I do is to delete this hello world text as our initial text and uh, for instance I replace it with my web just like that. Now if I refresh my page rather than hello world I see my web up there. Alright now what I want to do is that at first step I'm going to set a menu on top of my site. Now I enter the bootstrap site and in the component section I go to the menu for instance in the nav bar these are our menus and I can see different forms of menu here for instance this menu is like this this is a certain model the menu has a lo log logo now the menu has a name beside the logo the menu is like this again yep as you see and you can see different codes the menu is like this at here now up there there could be just a bar and we could also put a search box in different models that we have here and here you can change the colors as well here it says in order to change the colors you just need to use these codes in our class or navbar for instance dark color and that background color that we have on our mind we can write this color code as we intend to uh, for instance one example could be here I go for let's say yeah uh, for instance I could uh, can you have a guess yeah I go for this one that would be all right the menu bar and I copy the code just like that right click straight down on the buttons and keep copying and as you see all right I copy this code as well let's see how it works okay and here on this side as you see I copy this yeah copy let's see okay and on the HTML page in body tag I remove this text and here I paste it and save and now let's check the website to see how it looks now alright as you see this one here my menu bar has been set on top of my site and I can change different settings of it I can set it up differently for instance I can change the word nav bar to my web or the name of a website let's see just like that yep okay and we have a series of menus and other options available that we are going to work more with all right here as you see in our search box now in the next part I want to set a slider for pictures and images uh, one that shows the pictures in order one after the other there is a similar way as well if you don't want to search these components which could be at times confusing you could directly search for what you're looking for on Google uh, you can search for instance image uh, slider that would on bootstrap that would get you access to it directly and as you see in the website w3 as you see it shows up and you see the examples here this is one type of a slide that is available to the users these are the codes for that slide uh, what is great about these websites is that I can hit try 
and see how it works and the code will run and if I need to apply any changes make the necessary changes and then copy the code here it shows me the full code sometimes there is the need uh, to be added more scrapes to my head to my body that is why we need to take them into account as well and then copy them all right uh, for instance here i check my code all right if you check this out you will as a matter of fact notice in the head we have a link css dot with a scrap but here besides css there are two others and they have been imported so to use this slider we need to copy these two scripts as well okay that's what you need to take into account i copy these two scripts and set them in head paste them in head and then i check my javascript codes i have these three javascripts let me check if it needs any extra javascript or not does it let's see in my body no no it doesn't use any other javascripts only in my body i have this tag so i copy this tag into my body and that would be enough yep and as you see here add it to my html after my nav tag and this is the tag navigation or menu bar i add it after this tag here all right again i refresh my website to see the new changes now as you see we ran it into a problem in my slide the pictures won't open let's see what's the matter why don't they open let me check my site again and see the different settings they have been addressed as you see the pictures have an address that means these pictures are not available on my computer all right i need to save these pictures this is the first picture i save this one all right that's it in my theme folder okay here i saved it yes it's done now and now let's see okay let's refresh the site and the picture opens all right well now if i open the theme folder right now as you see my picture is next to home.html which is not appropriate uh, I may have so many files beside my format that would make everything so confusing. So I make another folder, I make a new folder and call it image. Yeah, short for, yeah, I can create a short form. And now I send this slide here. And as you see, two other pictures as well. This is the next one. I set it in image folder so that i can access it easier all right and the third picture as well i save it on the theme as well all right now i need to make the addresses because i have set the pictures in the image folder so i crack these addresses to image i add the image to them so that they can have access to those pictures now I refresh my website. As you see, the pictures open, but my problem is that the JavaScript sections code don't work properly. So we need to rectify that problem as well. Let's see what the problem in my slide is. All right, uh, yeah. Let's see, well okay that's it let's see this code i refresh the page once because some of the codes as you see have been deleted while well, we copied them all right now we need to say where the problem is and what we need to add of course we need to pay attention to the bootstrap version now so that makes things more precise let's see what version it is i can copy this html here the versions are very important and the version of the bootstrap starter that i have copied is 4.3 and let's see what the version 
here it is here is 3.4 they don't match yet that might be it here uh, I can search and find a code for bootstrap 4.3 or I can copy this code and add the other files to this code but it is better to search for bootstrap 4 and now what shows up will work with bootstrap 4 that's much better so it really matters what version of the bootstrap you are using always pay attention to that now it shows me this slide the pictures are the same but if you pay attention what is it using can you say okay do you see it there as you see it is using the bootstrap 4.3 which matches with my bootstrap so here it has three scripts as you see i copy them all right let's do it yeah that's it and let's see i replace them with the last two script that i just copied yeah and now i check my site to see if my problem is solved or not let's check it up yeah still not uh so i may have missed a code yeah here is a javascript style code we have missed this yeah we have missed the part okay how could it happen now i need to include it and that was the problem the easiest method is to copy this code and replace it with our own the entire code should be replaced just like that and see if this code works properly or not okay let's see if it does all right this is the code yep uh, it needs jQuery bootstrap and the JavaScript of the bootstrap. Yep. Uh, we'd better copy them little by little in chunks. We copy the style. And as you see, the appearance designing needs a lot of time and patience. Uh, you need to have a lot of time doing a lot of trials and errors and finding the best format. We refresh our website again and as you see the problem is not solved yet unfortunately and okay now it has a link as well bootstrap 4.3 we have it here and we added those bootstraps yep and now let's see yeah i need to replace this as well because in div it is different okay and the part is different all right that the div that we have set here was for the former version we need to remove the div part as well okay we need to crack the address again a lot of things are being done again and again on designing and that's what's normal now we save and check the site to see how it works as you see the slide page is working all right now there is a menu on top of time and there is a slider as well so all of these three are working properly now now we can add a space between menu and a slider to do so uh, what we need to do is that we just need to add a br tag between the slider and uh, the time and let's see what happens and as you see it has a space here but what the height of our slide should be or what the margins are is totally up to you and you can do the settings for them and apply different sizes and dimensions based on your intended website